Good morning, everyone. I hope you're doing well this morning. I hope this started on a great day. Um, I wanted to do a quick message because as I'm sitting here listening to one of my morning sermons by one of my favorite pastors, um, Steve Furtick, he is speaking on a message and it brought some things up to my mind. So I want to share with you very briefly and very quick to kind of get um, your month started. Yes, we started in the middle of the week, but it's a brand new month today. And and it's the next half of the rest of this year and what I wanted to talk about was how sometimes our biggest blessings begin with a storm and 2020 began with a big storm and it seems like we have been riding lightning thunder tornadoes hurricanes tsunamis ever since right but that is not to say that whatever God has ordained over this year for you and your family and your finances and your business and your life or whatever it is that he spoke to you at the beginning of this year, whatever he spoke to you in 2019 about this year, just because it started with a storm doesn't mean the blessing is not yet on the way. It does not mean the blessing is not yet getting ready to unfold in this next six months. It does not mean that in the first six months your blessing was yet ever present. So I want you to be encouraged. I know I'm encouraged. Um, I literally just started it. It's it three minutes in. And um, it just came to me. And I just was like, you know what, God? Because he spoke to me that this year was going to be amazing. This year was going to be great for the Dior movement and to launch it this year, to go ahead and make it known, to put it out there, to work it, to do it. And I can say, man, God, you know, I was supposed to have this big book tour and this release and this launch party. And I had these things in mind and these plans. And it was like, no, not right now. And I wanted to get discouraged. I wanted to be like, for real though, you know, but he had to let me know he is still in control. He still is in control. His promises is still going to come to pass. His words are yay and amen. And his words will not go out void. Like it will not return to him void. I'm sorry. When he speaks something, it goes out. And it's already done, it's already accomplished. It will not come back to him void. So for him to have already spoken over your life, for this year, no matter what the storm looks like, it is yet still going to come to pass. It is yet still going to happen. It is yet already manifesting. Just walk in it. Just go forth. You know how when you're driving on the way somewhere out of town, I don't know if anybody has ever driven a car before, um, on a long trip out of town like my family likes to do in a hot skip in a minute, but there are times when you can like what i do is when i'm getting ready to go on a road trip the day of at least the day before and definitely the day of i try to check the weather for all the cities and the states that i know i'm gonna travel through so that i can know about gauging when to leave or that it's going to be you know smooth sailing or whatever the case may be right so you can try to set up a a smooth ride get all the things together and no but there was one time when I, I had everything and I and we was all good and we had moved, but a storm caught me by surprise and I had a decision to make pull over and wait for it to pass not knowing what type of storm it was or how long it was gonna last or what was gonna happen or drive through it as if you can see anyhow now look every time that thought comes to my mind and what do i do every time i drive through it with caution as if i can see anyhow i put on my little blinker lights so that anybody behind me I can help guide them through the storm because they see something up ahead to let them know how close they're getting to somebody else. So, you know, proceed with caution. But you know what? If you follow me, 
we gonna go through this thing together you know and then i proceed with caution because if i can't see the next car in front of me clearly i don't want to just run up on something and i don't want to just drive as if nothing is happening so we don't want to go through life we don't want to go through 2020 we don't want to go through this experience as if all these things aren't happening we don't want to turn a blind eye to the things that's going on right now to the coronavirus to the uproar within the black community where we're standing firm and we're standing strong about change. We don't want to just overlook um, the deaths that are happening. We don't want to just overlook what's happening. We want to proceed with caution and wisdom, but we still proceed. We still go forward. You still got to go through the storm. And what always happens, the storm it literally is over within not even five minutes. I didn't drove through it. Not even five minute time. I'm through it. Had my fear caused me to stop? Ain't no telling how long that storm would have lasted. Now I want you to understand this. It does not matter what the storm looks like. You must proceed through it. Because if you allow your fear to stop you, that storm may last longer than it has to. God has already spoken the word over your life. He's already spoken a word over your situation. And he knew the storm was going to come. If you don't believe me, what about when he told Paul and the disciples to go out before him and go ahead and head on over to the other land and he'll meet him there and then the storm hit and they still got there he knew the storm was coming he told him to go anyhow I need you to understand that he knew everything that was going to happen this year but yet he still told you this was your year so that means he's simply saying, do it anyhow. Go anyhow. Because my grace is sufficient in this situation and the next. So be encouraged as you start the second half of this year, as you start this month, as you start this day. The storm may come, but your blessing is still yours it's still here it is still manifesting itself so do not stop due to this storm proceed with caution but proceed y'all have a good day